today has been a day that none of us could have predicted or prepared for. It's still not real in my eyes. It's it's still not real. Um, it's been a it's been a roller coaster to be honest with you. When I found out the news, I had made a tweet. I was getting ready for a video on my main channel. I was I made a tweet like, "Who is the most random NBA player you can think of?" And I refreshed to to see my mentions, and uh, somebody said, "You hear about Kobe?" And at this part. It wasn't confirmed. It was rumored. TMZ had put out a tweet, but I didn't want, nobody wanted to accept it. We're like, oh, TMZ must have got hacked. Uh, the, the website crashed. So we thought that TMZ was removing the article, when in reality, so many people were going to this article that the whole website completely crashed. And, and eventually, more details and details start coming out, and it becomes official. Kobe Bryant passed away in a helicopter accident. And I'm only making this video because so many people asked me to come out here and react to his highlights or, or say what he meant to me. This video is not monetized by me. If there was an ad for some reason placed at the beginning of this video, I promise you it was not me. I don't I don't want to be looked at as one of the dudes trying to monetize his death, but a player like Kobe Bryant impacted so many people, me included. It impacted people outside of the basketball world. Like the first thing I thought about, my uncle passed away a few years ago. He was not a basketball fan at all, but he loved Kobe Bryant. He loved Kobe Bryant. He would ask us like, how much Kobe dropped yesterday or, or the day before or whatever. He didn't watch the games, but he just wanted to see Kobe be successful. That's the type of impact Kobe had on, on everybody. The Mamba mentality is real, man. People, legitimately, there are many, many young people in the NBA right now. Devin Booker and all these guys that grew up watching Kobe Bryant, DeMar DeRozan, and they live with this Mamba mentality. I was just looking around my room and I, I realized that I had this book, the, the Kobe, the Mamba mentality book. In this book, it's like so, so many great pictures and, and stories from Kobe Bryant himself that what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy a second one of these and I'm going to, I'm going to make my own poster of, of Kobe Bryant, abs like different things that he wrote in this book or, or just pictures from his career. And, and if you watch my podcast for the first year of our entire existence, This poster was in our background of Jordan, you know, holding LeBron and Kobe, bro. Kobe had that much of an impact on us. So, I it, it really, it's really got me lost. It's got everybody lost. Um, and then when we find out an hour later that also Gigi was in the, the copter with them, Along with right now, I just, before I turned on the camera, it turned out there was nine people instead of just the original five. So we got Kobe, we got Gigi, we got the pilot. There was a, a baseball coach from, I think it was Orange County, and, and we still don't know everybody. But my condolences to Kobe's wife, the remainder of his kids, and, and you watching this video because we are all, we are all grieving right now. Whether, whether you was a huge Kobe fan or just a little bit of a Kobe fan, or maybe not even a Kobe fan at all. We are all impacted by his death because we are all a family when, we, when it comes down to us as fans of basketball. Like, he destroyed so many teams in his career, but throughout today, everybody, uh, um, people that he beat in finals, his teammates, everybody has shown their love because Kobe was just that big. He was bigger than basketball. It always been bigger than basketball. Like a couple weeks ago, he was on a podcast and he he was like, "Man, I don't even watch NBA games." Well, at least until Gigi says she wanted to start watching NBA games, and and then they got league pass together, and then they start watching games, and then and then I tweeted, I quoted that tweet, and I was like, "I hope that my future kids ends up end up loving basketball as much as Kobe and Gigi." It's like. If somebody would have told me two days ago that, that Kobe was going to pass away, there was, there was nothing I can do to even prepare for this. It prepared the world for the, for the heartbreak or, or, or everything that comes with it. And this is, this is not a moment to be 
a ranking NBA. Where does Kobe rank in the, No. Just let's just all pay our respect to Kobe. Um, I can't imagine how the next couple weeks or just basically the remainder of the season is gonna be because of Kobe. Yo, when Kobe was at whenever Kobe was at a Lakers game this year, the, the moment the moment was his, the camera would show him a thousand times because Kobe was just that guy. And it's just last night, Le- LeBron passes him, you know, I think to be third all time in, in scoring or something like that. And and Kobe wasn't one of those bitter dudes. You know, a lot of the people that are retired and NBA players are bitter guys. They don't want to show love to the younger guys that that beat their records or or end up being better than them, whatever. But Kobe tweeted, like, congratulations to LeBron, bro. Like, like, like his brother. And now we get the clips of LeBron getting onto the to the Lakers plane and, and, and him hugging, I, I would guess it was Savannah, and, and breaking down crying. Just... Today, we're, we're going to be just watching some of Kobe's best highlights. We could sit here for three hours, four hours, and on and on to actually sit down and watch Kobe highlights. But we're, we're going to keep it to his top 10 according to a random video. I, again, it's, it's not monetized. I, we, we all love Kobe. Um, may he and Gigi and, and the other seven passengers and the pilot... All rest in peace. I I hope Kobe knew how much he impacted not just NBA fans, but just people in general. Let's get to the highlights. And again, I I didn't I didn't even really wanna I wanted to take this whole day off. I wanted to just chill. I I didn't really want to record any videos because I didn't think I was gonna have the energy for it. And and as a YouTube, you gotta, you know, you gotta bring it, you gotta bring it, you gotta bring it. Um but so many people asked me on Twitter. They wanted to, they wanted to hear my thoughts, and um, here we are. Y'all yeah, remember when Kobe was almost a bull? Cause I remember that. I remember that. Um, okay, number ten play. Here we go. I, I I feel for I feel for Shaq. I feel for Powell. You know, like this is. I, I, and I feel for anybody that I know that him and Shaq had like they came to men's they've been on different documentaries together they've had conversations they, they were co-all-star game MVPs I'm pretty sure like they, they didn't hate each other but I'm sure there are some people out there that maybe didn't get to really tell Kobe how much he meant to them and, 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 and now you can't Getting caught flat for and that's a that's a highlight on Dwight Howard. And you see that picture everywhere, man. Yeah, you see a picture everywhere. Four car pass from Robert Ory. The spin cycle duck. Oh man. Oh my god, bro. Eight twenty-four. It's just so great. Five of them things. Five of them things. Shift the people and then the. This is that's young Kobe because Eddie Jones. I just saw Eddie Jones on the bench. So we talking, we talking first couple years of his career, Kobe. Um, KG can't stop it. KG can't stop it. And y'all were down by almost 20 right there. The reverse is nasty. The reverse is nasty. Here come a recent clip. Uh-huh. 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 Kobe. Now, you ain't got to foul me. I'm going to shoot right over you. Don't matter. That mentality. And he just, this game is so monumental. In the corner. One more. Oh, one point game now. One point game now. You think this is over? You think this is a this is a moment. This is a moment. Shout out to Steve Nash for the dime. Hold on. Another one. Another one. Tie game. Five seconds left, baby. They're bringing a double. Rudy Gay and Amir Johnson is not enough. Can you imagine being in the arena when something like this happened? And then we get to OT. And who you think closing out this game? It is the Bean. It's him, Aaron Gray. Aaron Gray, you can't do nothing. And I just saw DeMar DeRozan in this clip, too. Uh-huh. Ron Artest on the inbound. Shout out to Udonis Haslam. You know who the ball is going to. They're doubling him. Wade. Couldn't do much about it. Couldn't do much about it with the bank, too. Oh, oh my God. The... Yeah. I, I, I think I know what num- number one is going to be. I feel it. I feel like I know what number one is going to be. 
But I ain't gonna spoil nothing. I ain't gonna spoil. I'm not gonna spoil anything. But we can legitimately watch day in and day out. There will not be enough highlights of Kobe Bryant. Portland. This is that is amazing defense. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, bro. It does not matter. That is amazing defense. Got him the pump fake, didn't bite, didn't foul. I mean, may, actually, maybe. They ain't call him, but maybe he did get hit a little bit. And then you know what he does? We get to the second overtime. Show, show, him, what you, show him what you do, Kobe. And that's a foul. Game. Buckets. 20 years, man. 20, 20 years. And it's just 20 years of greatness. The man tore his Achilles, walked onto the court, fin finished it, you know, finished, made his free throws, and then walked off the court. Last game in his career. Going at one of the best defenders of all. This whole moment, this whole moment is it. You got, you get like uh, Snoop Dogg in the crowd. Who else was there? It was, it was so many people. I cannot imagine how expensive those tickets were for Kobe's last game. But Kobe did this thing. I don't even remember them being down. That's how much of a moment it was for Kobe Bryant. I don't remember them being down, but he did his thing and he let them back. Like, you know who the ball is going to. It is his last game, and he's one of the GOATs. You know the ball is coming his way. Gordon Hayward, uh-uh. You got the switch, Trey Latt, uh uh None of it matters. None of it matters, bro. None of it matters. Oh my god, bro. None of it mattered. Whole city, whole world, bro. I'm, I'm back here in Chicago. And I'm watching this, these moments, and I, I'm with them. I'm watching these moments, and I'm with them. The, the defense by Smush. Give it to Cole. This is playoffs, baby. It don't get no bigger than this. It don't get no bigger than this. Is that Devin George gives it up to Kobe? He know who to get a ball to when we need a bucket. Oh, yes, yes. yes. This is not what I was thinking for number one. I forgot this. I thought that the, the last game of his career was going to be number one. I forgot about this one. I forgot about this one. Double team don't have to pass it. Double team don't have to pass it. Mm. And that's game. That's game. And, um, yeah. Never, ever, 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 ever will be forgotten. Um, I don't have any kids, but eventually I will have kids, and they're going to know who Kobe Bryant was. And they're going to they're gonna know who Kobe Bryant was. And, um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna make them watch the highlights I just watched. I'm gonna make them watch the full series of like his five championship runs. You, you're, they're gonna see it all. They're gonna grow up with the same mentality, and they're gonna know.